Imagine this. One minute you're making coffee, the next the power's out. The radio's buzzing about an emergency, and suddenly your whole day is flipped upside down. Are you prepared? Here are 38 items that you simply cannot afford to be without during any disaster. First, let's talk about the tools you might need. Think of this as your get-out-of-jail-free card for anything wood-related. Need to clear debris blocking a doorway? Chopping kindling for a fire? A hatchet or small axe can be your best friend. Just remember, safety first. Learn how to use it properly before disaster strikes. Another great tool you must have with yourself is a shovel. Not only is it great for snowy winters, but a shovel can be a lifesaver if you need to dig out a buried pipe, clear a path after a landslide, or even create a makeshift shelter. Think of it as your multi-purpose earth-moving companion. Duct tape is the ultimate fixer-upper. Leaky pipe? Patch it up. Broken window? Tape it closed temporarily. It's like having a superpower in your toolbox. Plus, it's incredibly versatile, so you can use it for a whole bunch of unexpected situations. The next tool you should get your hands on is a folding saw. This saw is lighter and easier to store than a full-size chainsaw. It's perfect for clearing fallen branches, chopping firewood, or even cutting through some tougher materials in a pinch. Just make sure it folds in locks securely. You never know when a loose screw or a stubborn bolt might cause problems. This handy set can help you tighten things up, fix leaky faucets, or even open a stubborn jar. When the power goes out and your phone's battery is dead, how are you going to stay informed? An emergency radio is your lifeline to important updates, weather warnings, and emergency broadcasts. Plus, some even come with a hand crank option, so you can power it up even without electricity. Now the next tool is a bit lighter, and this one needs a little caution. Always be careful with fire, especially indoors. But a reliable lighter can be incredibly useful. Need to start a fire for warmth or cooking? Light some candles for illumination. A Bic lighter can come in handy, just remember to treat it with respect. A survival straw might seem insignificant, but it can be a lifesaver. Contaminated water is a real risk after a disaster. A survival straw can help purify water from questionable sources, making it safe to drink. It might not win any taste awards, but it could keep you hydrated and healthy. We've covered the tools for tackling tough situations, but let's face it, comfort matters too. Let's talk about items that will help you weather any storm, figuratively or literally, with a little more ease. Think of this as your mobile survival castle. A sturdy backpack will be your lifeline, carrying all your essentials. Look for something durable, comfortable, and spacious enough to hold everything you need. Multiple compartments can help you stay organized. And adjustable straps are key for long treks. Remember, this might be your home away from home for a while, so comfort is crucial. I remember a time when I got lost hiking in the mountains. Let's just say my knowledge of edible berries was limited to the kind you find in grocery stores. Thankfully, a handy survival guide helped me navigate my way back to civilization and a much-needed burger. Here's the deal. The internet isn't always a given in disaster situations. A good survival guide packed with knowledge on finding food, building shelter, and navigating unfamiliar terrain can be a real lifesaver. Okay, I get it. This one might sound a bit boring, but trust me, having your vital documents readily available can save you a ton of stress during an emergency. Imagine waking up to a raging fire. You need to evacuate quickly. In that scramble, grabbing your passport, birth certificate, or insurance policies might be the last thing on your mind. But these documents are crucial for dealing with the aftermath. Here's the solution. Gather up all those important documents. IDs, insurance information, medical records, bank details. Anything that would be a nightmare to replace. Now make copies. Don't just stick to paper, go digital too. Scan them or take clear photos and store them securely online, like in a cloud storage service. That way, even if your physical copies get lost or destroyed, you've got backups a click away. For the physical copies, invest in a waterproof and fireproof container. It doesn't need to be anything fancy, just something that shields your documents from the elements. Speaking of things that might be obvious but are often forgotten in the heat of the moment, be sure to pack up some spare clothes. Pack a few changes of clothes for different weather conditions. Staying dry and warm can make a huge difference in a survival situation. Think layers. You can adjust them depending on the climate. Now let's not forget mental well-being. 
Pack a small item that brings you comfort, like a favorite book, a cherished family photo, or even a deck of cards. A little dose of familiarity can work wonders for keeping your spirits high in stressful situations. Mental resilience is just as important as physical strength, after all. Let's now get down to brass tacks, the stuff that can make a real difference in a survival situation. Now, before you envision me channeling my inner Rambo, hear me out. A tactical knife is more than just a weapon, although it can certainly be used for self-defense in extreme circumstances. It's a versatile tool for a variety of tasks – cutting rope, clearing debris, building a shelter, or even preparing food. When darkness descends, it can turn even the most familiar surroundings into a spooky maze. That's why a reliable flashlight is a must-have. Look for a durable option, preferably one with a long battery life or a hand crank model for those times when batteries become scarce. A good flashlight can be your beacon of hope in the darkest hours, literally and figuratively. It allows you to navigate safely, find lost items, and even signal for help if needed. Just like a flashlight, a paracord might seem like a simple thing, but it's a survivalist's secret weapon. This incredibly strong and versatile cord can be used for a multitude of purposes – securing shelters, repairing gear, making traps, or even creating improvised splints. It's lightweight, compact, and can be a lifesaver in unexpected situations. Next, let's talk about old-school navigation for a moment. In a world where GPS and Google Maps might not always be available, a physical map and compass become essential tools. They might seem like relics from the past, but they can be your guiding light when technology fails. A map allows you to understand your surroundings, plan routes effectively, and find landmarks. A compass helps you maintain direction, even when unfamiliar with the area. Having these backups for navigation can be a lifesaver ensuring you find your way to safety regardless of the circumstances. This little guy packs a big punch. A whistle can be a valuable tool for attracting attention in an emergency. Whether you're lost, injured, or need to signal for help, a whistle can carry further than your voice and pierce through the noise. It's a simple yet effective way to let others know you need assistance. Protecting your hands is crucial in a survival situation. Tactical gloves can shield you from cuts, scrapes, blisters, and even extreme temperatures. Think about what you might be doing – clearing debris, chopping firewood, or navigating rough terrain. Gloves can make a world of difference in keeping your hands safe and functional. Next up, we have another no-brainer that is still worth mentioning, given how important it is. I'm talking about personal hygiene items like hand sanitizer, soap, toothpaste, and feminine hygiene products. These go beyond just feeling fresh. In a disaster scenario, Maintaining cleanliness can prevent illness and infection, keeping you healthy when you need it most. Imagine a situation where access to clean water and showers is limited. Having these basics can ensure you can maintain a semblance of normalcy and hygiene, which is good for both your physical and mental well-being. Picture this – the power's out, ATMs are on lockdown, and card machines are nothing more than paperweights. In these scenarios, cash becomes king. When the digital world goes dark, having some physical currency on hand can feel like finding a gold mine. It's not just about buying food and water, although that's pretty darn important too. Let's say you need to chip in for a generator rental, pay for a ride to safety, or even just grab some basic supplies from a store that's accepting cash. In such cases, having some bills tucked away can be a lifesaver. Now, how much cash is enough? That's a personal decision. But a good rule of thumb is to have enough to cover basic expenses for a few days, just in case the digital world goes offline for a while. Trust me, stashing away some cash might seem like an old-fashioned move, but in an emergency, you'll be glad you listened. Now we're getting to the heart of the matter – the essential supplies that can make a world of difference in a survival situation. Imagine this – you're caught in a sudden downpour, soaked to the bone and shivering. This lightweight, heat-reflective material traps your body heat, keeping you warm and preventing hypothermia. It's compact, easy to store, and can be a lifesaver in cold weather emergencies. We all know this one. Water is the foundation of life, and during a disaster, access to clean drinking water might be limited. The human body can only survive for about three days without it. Yikes. Having a reliable supply of water or a way to purify it becomes a top priority. Experts recommend storing at least one gallon of water per person per day 
for a minimum of three days. This might seem like a lot, but trust me, it's better to be safe than sorry. Think about all the ways you use water beyond just quenching your thirst. Brushing your teeth, cleaning your body, washing dishes, or even cooking. These seemingly simple tasks become major hurdles without a clean water source. Stocking up on bottled water is a simple and affordable way to ensure you have a readily available supply. Look for deals at grocery stores, where you can often find gallon jugs for a dollar or so each. Store them in a cool, dark place like a closet, and you'll have peace of mind knowing you have this vital resource on hand. This preparation is especially important in situations where your regular water supply is compromised. Natural disasters like earthquakes, hurricanes, or floods can disrupt water lines or contaminate local sources. Even a power outage could render your well pump inoperable, leaving you high and dry, literally. Moving on from water, let's talk about fire. Remember those campouts where you struggled to get a fire going? Not cool in a survival situation. A campfire isn't just for fun and stories. It provides warmth, a way to cook food, and even keeps wild animals at bay. But without a reliable way to start a fire, you might be left cold, hungry, and vulnerable. That's why having fire starters, waterproof matches, or a fire starter kit is crucial for your survival kit. There are various options available, from lighters to flint and steel, so choose what you're most comfortable using. Another basic survival item I would highly recommend you have is a multi-tool. Think of this as the Swiss Army knife of survival gear. A multi-tool is a compact powerhouse, combining a knife and can opener, pliers, and various other tools into one handy device. It's like having a tiny toolbox at your disposal. In the midst of an emergency, you might need to turn off utilities, make minor repairs, or simply open canned goods if a can opener isn't readily available. This is where a sturdy, reliable multi-tool becomes invaluable. These versatile tools combine several functions into one compact device, including pliers, screwdrivers, knives, and sometimes even a small saw or a file. This means you're prepared for a wide range of tasks without needing to carry around a whole arsenal of individual tools. Staying informed and connected during a disaster is crucial. A hand crank or solar-powered radio can provide vital updates and emergency instructions, even when the power grid is down. A charged mobile phone with a backup power source like a portable charger allows you to call for help or check on loved ones. Remember, in a crisis, information is power. These communication devices can be your lifeline to the outside world, keeping you updated and ensuring help is on the way when needed. All right, folks, let's face it, accidents happen. Even in the best case scenario and during a disaster, having a well-stocked first aid kit can make a world of difference. These are the workhorses of your first aid kit, perfect for treating cuts, scrapes, and minor wounds. I remember a time when I went a little overboard chopping veggies and ended up with a nasty gash on my finger. Bandages and gauze were lifesavers then, stopping the bleeding and keeping the wound clean until I could get it properly disinfected. Stock up on various sizes of adhesive bandages, sterile gauze pads, and rolls of gauze for more extensive wounds. Remember, it's always better to have more than you need than to run out when you need it most. Cleaning and disinfecting wounds is crucial to prevent infection. Antiseptic wipes or solutions are a must-have in your first aid kit. They're convenient, easy to use, and can help prevent minor cuts and scrapes from turning into something more serious. Let's be honest, even minor injuries can be a real pain, literally. Having over-the-counter pain relievers like ibuprofen or acetaminophen in your kit can be a lifesaver. A throbbing headache or a sprained ankle can make even the simplest tasks feel overwhelming. Pain relievers can help manage discomfort and keep you functioning during a crisis. This one's a no-brainer. If you rely on daily medication, ensure you have an adequate supply stored in your kit, ideally lasting for at least a week or longer if possible. Running out of your prescription medication during an emergency can be a major problem. Don't wait until disaster strikes to ensure you have a refill on hand. These might seem like minor players, but they can be surprisingly useful. Tweezers are great for removing splinters or ticks, while scissors can be used to cut bandages or clothing in an emergency. Look for a pair of blunt-tipped trauma shears for added versatility. Speaking of providing first aid, 
Knowing how to give a CPR is one of the most important survival skills you can know. But the fact is, even if you know how to perform a CPR, performing it on someone during an emergency can be daunting. This is why you should have a CPR face shield, because it can help you feel more comfortable and protected. These shields create a barrier between your mouth and the person's face. Here's a bonus tip. Don't forget to consider taking a basic first aid and CPR course. Knowing how to use the supplies in your kit is just as important as having them. These courses can equip you with the knowledge and skills to handle emergencies with confidence. Remember, a well-stocked first aid kit is a vital part of your preparedness plan. By having these essential supplies on hand, you can treat minor injuries and ensure the well-being of yourself and your loved ones during a crisis. Alright folks, we've covered the essentials, but there's one thing we can't live without – food and water. Let's dive into some additional supplies that can keep you fueled and hydrated during an emergency. Canned goods are your pantry superheroes. They're shelf-stable, come in a variety of options. Think fruits, veggies, beans, meats, and require no special preparation. Just pop them open and eat. Remember to stock up on a can opener, too. It might seem obvious, but in the midst of an emergency, you don't want to be scrambling for ways to access your canned food stash. Think of these as nature's energy bars. Dried fruit and nuts are packed with essential nutrients, fiber, and healthy fats, making them a fantastic on-the-go snack or a quick addition to meals. They're lightweight, compact, and require no refrigeration, making them perfect as your survival snacks. Speaking of survival snacks, protein bars are another great way to keep your energy levels up in a crisis. Packed with protein and calories, they can be a lifesaver when you need a quick and filling meal replacement. I remember one time I got stuck in traffic for hours on a scorching summer day. I had a protein bar tucked away in my car, and let me tell you, it was a lifesaver. It kept me from getting hungry until I finally got home. While bottled water is a good starting point, consider investing in refillable water storage containers. These sturdy containers can hold larger quantities of water, ensuring a longer-lasting supply. They're also more environmentally friendly than single-use plastic bottles. But before you store the water, make sure it's clean. That's where a portable water filter comes into play. Because, let's face it, Finding clean drinking water may not always be possible in a disaster situation. A portable water filter can be a game-changer, allowing you to purify water from streams, lakes, or even rainwater. These filters come in various sizes and styles, from simple straw filters to more complex pump systems. Choose one that fits your needs and comfort level. Having a way to cook your food is essential, especially if you're relying on non-perishable items. A sturdy cooking pot allows you to boil water, heat canned goods, or even cook simple meals. Stainless steel pots are a great option as they're durable and easy to clean. Consider a multi-fuel camping stove as a cooking heat source. This way, you're not limited to just using a campfire for cooking. I know what you might be wondering. That's a lot of items. That's going to cost me a fortune. Not if you're smart about it. Click the video on screen now where we talk about the prepping items you can buy for very cheap at Dollar Tree.